Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen after Adam, the son of Adam, Shaith. And Shaith was a gift. And even the name Shaith means gift. Shaith was a gift that was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Adam after the death of his son Habil. Habil was a righteous son, a righteous servant of Allah Azza wa Jal. Qabil wasn't the best. So Adam, as a righteous man, he was attached to Habil more than Qabil. And when he lost Habil, he was very upset. So Allah Azza wa Jal replaced Habil with Shaith, not only a righteous man, but a prophet and a messenger of Allah. And Adam named him Shaith as a gift. And it's the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَنَّهُ أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ خَمْسُونَ صَحِيفَةً Fifty scriptures were sent down upon him, upon sheath. And they had words of wisdom. So the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remained coming down with words of wisdom, words of advice. From the moment Adam alayhi salam came onto earth, and Adam alayhi salam taught Shaykh, he taught him all, most of the knowledge that he had. And he taught him the worship and the ibadah and how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the times of worship. And Shaykh, after the death of his father Adam, he ruled the children of Adam and he ruled with justice. He ruled in accordance to Allah's law. And he brought unity between the people around him. But shaitan could not stop his plotting. On the other hand, Qabil and the descendants of Qabil grew and grew more than the people around Shaykh. And Qabil, he was, he committed the greatest corruption that was committed on earth. So his descendants were still Muslims who believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. And bear with, me, bear with me, my brothers and sisters, throughout what we're speaking, and the corruption that you hear, and the haram that's been committed, these people are still Muslims. They are still muwahideen. They are still those who worship one Lord, or believe in one Lord. Maybe they disobey Allah Azza wa Jal, but they believe in one Lord. They don't believe in the idols, they don't believe... In, uh, in, in other religion, or they don't follow in other religion, they just follow the religion of Islam, but they were disobedient. So Qabil and his people grew and grew and grew, and corruption increased among them. Where Shaykh was the leader in the mountain, and he had people obeying him, and he had things under control according to Allah's law. Now, the people of Shaykh, the people of Shaykh, their men, were much more handsome than the women and Qabil, the women were much more handsome than the men or much more better looking than the men. And one day Iblis carved out or made a flute made out of iron or made out of steel. When he worked with this blacksmith, posing himself as a young man, as an apprentice. And with that flute, it gathered a mixing between the people of the mountain and the people of the land on, and they called it a day of celebration. And the men and the women began to intermingle and through the music and the getting together in such a fashion, it resulted in the natural and biological interactions, reactions inside the man and the woman. And the shaitan played his role. And so free mixing began to occur without boundaries. And they said, our scholars say, or the historians of Islam say that this is when zina began. This is when adultery and fornication began. Slowly but surely, with the introduction of this first flute and music, which called for a celebration between men and women gathering and dancing. And over time, zina was carried out. So they say that the first sin was al-kibr, proudiness, and that's Iblis. He did that. 
The second sin was the minor one where Adam السلام, disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He forgot and he ate from the tree. The third sin is when Qabil killed his brother Habil. The fourth sins. Now, the first sin on a collective level, like lots of people do it, was zina. Zina, adultery and fornication. The other sins were done on an individual level. And look what happened. So imagine now when a sin is done on a collective level, when lots of people do it and becomes in open. For this reason, our Sharia, ah, the laws of Islam, are extremely sensitive in the way it punishes and takes evidence when people accuse others of adultery and fornication. And one of the haram, one of the mischiefs that used to be common among the people of Qamil is killing, murder, or something becoming very common. Going back to their grandfather, Qabil. And Shaykh, alayhi salam, will spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he forbade his people to mix with the people of Qabil. It was forbidden for anyone to mix with them. Because he saw that when people mix with them, they go astray, they go out of line. They fall into the haram, they commit haram. And Shaykh alayhi salam tried until Shaykh alayhi salam passed away.